On April 11, 2023, a major explosive eruption occurred at the Shivoj volcano in Russia, representing the largest volcanic eruption to occur on the planet in approximately 15 months. Whereas beforehand, this volcano contained a prominent lava dome which was nearly 600 meters or 2,000 feet in height, it now contains a 1 kilometer or 3,280 foot wide explosion crater. Thus, 80% of the original lava dome is gone, having been explosively ejected into the atmosphere as ash in addition to throwing large boulders of rock up to more than a dozen kilometers distant. The April 11th eruption was so energetic that it may have created a medium-scale lateral blast, although I am currently of the opinion that this did not occur. With this being said, here is the pathway the longest pyroclastic flow took, traveling a distance of 19 kilometers or 11.8 miles before stopping in a section of riverbed. Trees were scorched along the way, but in addition, some energetic boulders of rock from the pyroclastic flow itself ended up more than 10 feet high in various trees. Thus, many photos are being shared of presumably andesitic rocks that was likely sections of the former lava dome wedged high in burnt trees. Although the main phase of Shivlach's eruption is over, and its alert level was lowered from red to orange on April 12, 2023, Shivlach is very much still erupting, albeit at lower intensity. Already, a new lava dome has begun growing in the newly formed crater, which may be as much as 200 meters deep. We are currently unsure of how deep it is, as for obvious reasons, it is still unsafe to get close to this volcano. This lava dome might appear to be growing at a high rate, but while this could indicate a high rate of lava fusion, I caution that instead this might be an illusion as lava domes seemingly grow in width and height fastest when they initially begin forming due to each increase of a single meter of width and height requiring increasingly more molten rock as it grows larger and larger. While large volumes of ash did fall adjacent to the volcano with thicknesses of as much as 6 inches or 15 centimeters in the town of Clayuchi, some of this material still remains high in the atmosphere where it is causing problems elsewhere. In Alaska, since the eruption plume has drifted to the east over the past several days, its presence has caused an increasing number of flight cancellations with my source suggesting around 7 dozen total flights have been canceled between Wednesday and early Saturday due to volcanic ash. To some people, this might seem like an overreaction, but trust me, it is not. Aircraft engines are highly susceptible to even a trace amount of ash, which, if encountered, can go inside it, heat up and melt, and start fires. Additionally, ash can abrade surfaces and even block windscreens on aircraft, so the cancellation of these flights for even trace amounts of ash is the correct call. Thus, if you live in a section of Alaska, you might find very small singular stray particles of ash on your car. The associated ash particles could stay in the atmosphere for several more days even though the main phase of Shivlach's eruption has ended. For those of you who live in the area where ashfall has recently accumulated, I would advise against driving long distances unless the ash is compacted into a harder substance. My reasoning is that per a helpful guide which I have linked in the video description, dense ash particles in the air are horrendous for maintaining a car. For heavy ash, you need to change a car's oil and oil filters every 100 kilometers driven, in addition to wheel brake assemblies cleaned over the same length traveled. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank this channel's patrons on Patreon and channel members on YouTube.